Hello internet, welcome to the Doing It Ace channel. JavaScript lesson 9 is going to be about loops. We are going to cover two loops, for loop and the for in loop. A loop is used to execute a block of statements multiple number of times. A for loop is mainly used to traverse or iterate through an array. This is the syntax of for loop. So let's get started by creating a simple array that we can loop through. So var new array has item 1, item 2, and item 3. Now we are going to loop through that array. So we are going to start up a for loop. For loop, for, and in the, within parentheses, we have three expressions. The var count that we are going to assign the value of 0, and we are going to check the count is smaller than the length of the array. And next, we are going to increment the count one by one. Okay, here we write our statements. Statements. So we are going to console log the new array, and within the square brackets, I am going to pass in the count variable. Okay. Now let me explain. the The process that this works is we the JavaScript starts from here, count x given the value of 0. Then it checks if the count is smaller than the length of the array. So a new dot length, new array dot length will give us 1, 2, 3. So yes, count is smaller than the length of the array. So then it will go to execute the statements inside these curly brackets. After the first run, it's going to increment by count. Count is going to be incremented by 1. Then count is then again checked with the new dot new array dot length and then again it's going to go to the statements and execute the statements. Okay, so that is the process of how the uh, for loop works. So let's go in our browser and check our console to see our console. Item one, item two, item three are all looped out. Okay, a better way of doing this is to have the length of the array with the insider variable. So var say length of array is equal to new array dot length. And then we are going to use the name of the variable here. Now this is going to make a huge difference to performance. Why? Let's assume that this new array has 1000 items in it. So every time this for loop runs, the new array.length function will run, which, uh, ha which then uh, JavaScript has to find out the length of the array 1000 times. So it is, that is not necessary because even though it calculates the length of the array 1000 times, the value is going to be 1000 all the time. So it's better to always put the length of the array into a variable and then use it here. Okay, so that is a better way of writing a for loop. Next, we have four in loops. So let's create a new object and assign it some properties. So property one, one, and give it the values of value one, Make sure that you don't put the comma at, at the last property, otherwise it will not work in Internet Explorer 3. So here goes our for loop, for in loop. So for, and we have a parenthesis. Next we have the expression, and we are going to use the prop, which is the normal variable used. Variable prop in new object. And our curly brackets here, we write our statements. So console.log new object, and within the square brackets, I'm going to pass in the prop. There you go. And that's how you loop through an object. Okay, so now you know the for loop and the for in loop. 
pretty simple to do uh, just make sure that you always do this and uh, make sure you don't have a comma at the last property and yeah that covers this lesson i think so i hope you guys enjoyed one this one a short lesson on loops stay tuned for more do subscribe do comment and do like have a good day bye